Hi, it's Chester Topwell at Blue PK Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at preventing users entering superfluous spaces in a product code or any sort of text value. Now, normally you deal with the problem of superfluous spaces using the trim function. And if you remember the trim function, uh, deletes or gets rid of training spaces, leading spaces, but also if there's more than one space between characters, it will reduce the spaces to one. But what we're trying to do here is actually prevent users from typing in the value with superfluous spaces in the first place. So we don't have to use the trim, for, trim function at all. We're actually going to do this in two ways. The first way is with conditional formatting. Now, the conditional formatting method won't actually prevent users from typing in superfluous spaces. It will just indicate clearly that the user has entered superfluous spaces by changing the background color of the cell to red, for example. And that's actually going to involve three tests for the conditional formatting. Is the first character a space? Is the last character a space? And are there, uh, are there two successive spaces somewhere in the text string. So I'm going to do these three tests individually to begin with. So the first one will test for leading spaces. So we'll just do it based on this cell and we'll say does left, so it's the first character, does that equal a space? So if I put in something like space GHI, then it would say true. So that accounts for the leading space. I'll put leading out there. What about the trailing space? Well, we can use the right function for that. So we'd say right is the rightmost character equal to a space. And that's false, but if I put a space in at the end, it would say true. And then uh, contains two spaces, so two successive spaces. Um, so what we would do for this, um, a little bit more complicated, we'd say something like equals find and find text. So that will be two spaces together uh, within text. Now, what that does is it returns an error if it doesn't find two spaces. But if I was to put two spaces in, it would return a five. And that would be also true if I put in three spaces. So you know, it's two or more spaces that we're looking for. Now we're not interested in the five, but we are interested in the fact that it's a number. So if I say it is number, then that would tell me if there are two spaces together or two or more spaces together within the text string. So I've got true, false, true here. Obviously, if I put a space in there, I get four. So it's got all, I get true. So I've got all the problems that you could think of with this particular product code. So somehow we need to combine all of these tests into one test so that if at least one of these tests return true, we get a true. Okay, so I'm going to use an OR to combine these three tests into one. And if you used OR before, you, before, you will know that OR will return true if at least one of the tests is met. So what I'll do actually first of all is just copy this test. I don't want to write them all out again particularly. So it's say or that's got the one test in now. Then let's copy the second test. So it'll be comma. So I've got two tests in there now. And then the third test that in and I've got my three tests so this will return true if any of these tests are met let's just see if that's the case so if I was to put in a leading space it returns true if I was to take out that leading space and put in a trailing space then it returns true uh, if I take out the trailing space and I put in two or more spaces, it returns true. So basically I have the test I now need. And this test is actually going to be useful for both solutions 
that we're going to employ in the rest of this video. So as I said, the first method we're going to employ is to use conditional formatting to indicate to the user that they've entered superfluous spaces by changing the background color of the cell. Now we're gonna need this formula. So I'm gonna copy it. Then I'm gonna select the cells that I'm going to my product code into. Uh, home tab on my ribbon conditional formatting new rule use a formula to determine which cells to format and it says format values where this formula is true so i'm then going to specify that i want a red background so you can see now that that cell it has become red if i typed in a value without spaces it stays white if i said uh, vb um, S space it goes red so it picks out any of the space problems in these cells okay so this method is one way of dealing with this problem just to indicate to the user that there is a problem with the cell color change what if you just want to prevent users from entering those values in the first place well we can use data validation for this so this formula needs to be changed because essentially what I want to do is I want to return false if any of these tests have been met. At the moment, it returns true. Data validation allows you to set a formula, and the formula has to return true to, well, if, the, um, if the value that's been entered in the cell is to be allowed in the cell, if it's a valid entry. If the formula returns false, then it will throw up an error message and say you can't enter this particular value. So we basically need to make the true forces and the false tr forces true. And we can do that with not, it just reverses the answers. Okay, so then I'm gonna copy this onto my clipboard. I'm gonna select those cells. And I'm gonna go to data, data validation, settings, custom, and I'll paste in my formula here. And then I can put a little error alert, product code. I'll put a little message, uh, please enter the product code again, this time without leading trailing or double spaces. Okay, so now if I go down here and I type in something with a trailing space, I get my little message, please enter the product code again, etc. But if I was to enter it without the trailing space, it survives as an entry. Okay, so that is the data validation way of doing it, but you've also got the conditional format. It depends how harsh you want to be within your spreadsheet, really. Okay, that's it. That's it for this video. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.